welcome to Linux help tutorial in this session you are going to see about how to install and configure UFW an uncomplicated firewall in Debian and Ubuntu UFW is refers to uncomplicated firewall is an front-end uncomplicated firewall is an front-end for most widely used IP tables firewall and it is well comfortable for host based firewalls now I'm going to check now I'm going to check whether the UFW is installed in my system or not. For that sudo space dpkg hyphen hyphen get hyphen selections space grep UFW. In my system already the UFW package is installed. If the package is not available in the system, use the following commands to install the package install ufw this command is used to install the ufw package to check the status of the ufw whether it is running or not for that command is sudo space ufw status you can able to see the status is inactive for enabling the ufw status for that sudo ufw enable now the firewall status has been enabled to check the status for that sudo ufw status now you can able to see the status is active after the firewall is active you can able to add your rules into it if you want to see what are the default rules that are present in your system for that command is sudo ufw status verbose you can able to see the status login and default and new profile now i'm going to show you the status of ufw for that sudo ufw status now in ufw i'm going to allow the ssh access for that sudo ufw allow ssh now the rule has been added to the ufw to check the status sudo ufw status now you can able to see the status that port number 22 which is for ssh has been added and the action is allowed from anywhere if you are having a lot of rules we can able to numbers on each of the rules see easily for that sudo ufw status numbered and able to see the list of status with the numbers in the first rule the incoming connection of port number 22 from anywhere there is both tcp and udp packages is allowed but i need to allow only the tcp packets for that sudo ufw allow ssh slash tcp protocol now i'm going to allow the tcp for ssh then press enter the rule has been added to ufw to check the status you can able to see 22 slash tcp has been added and the action is allowed from anywhere now i'm going to deny the ftp access for that sudo ufw deny tp now the rule has been added you can able to see in the status 21 slash tcp 21 is the port number for FTP. The action is deny from anywhere. Follow a specific port to get access. Default the SSH port number is 22, but we can able to change the port number to which we need. That I'm going to allow a new port. The port number is 2287. For that sudo UFW allow port number 2287 the rule has been added now we can able to see the status equal to h7 it's added and its action is allowed from anywhere now i'm going to add a port range in the rule i'm going to add a set of range of port numbers with tcp protocol for that sudo ufw allow double two eight six two two three five seven slash tcp protocol and then press enter now the rule has been added you can able to see the range of port has been added its status is allowed 
you can able to see I have allowed TCP protocol. Now I am going to allow UDP protocol. But you can't able to add you can't able to add TCP and UDP protocol at the same time. Now I am going to add for UDP protocol slash UDP. So the rule has been added. You can able to see the range of port numbers with the TCP protocol and UDP protocol with the action allow. Now I am going to add a specific IP to allow my system. For that command is sudo ufw allow from the port number you need to mention. From IP you need to mention. And press enter. The rule has been added. You can be able to see that it is allowing the IP 192.168.5.103 action is allow from anywhere. If you would like to allow the wide range of address for that you can able to use the subnet mask that sudo ufw allow from 192.168.5.0 slash 24. If you give this subnet mask 24 and the address means within this range from 5.0 to 5.254 all the address will be able to all so the rule has been added the status you can able to check from the ip the status is allow to anywhere now i am going to add a rule that will allow access from anywhere and from any protocol to port number 22 for that do ufw allow to any port 22 the rule has been added. The status you can able to see the port number 22. Number 22 action is allow and from anywhere. Now I am going to use the combining parameters. By using this you can able to create the rule will limit the connection only from IP specific IP and from only specific protocol and also from a specific port. For that sudo ufw allow from you need to specify the IP and protocol to PRO, TO to which protocol you need to specify I am going to specify TCP to any port and then you need to specify the port number I am going to give SSH port number 22 now the rule has been added status you, have, you can able to see the port IP address 5.196 the action is allowed and through port number is 22 SSH protocol is TCP. Now I am going to show you how to delete rules in UFW. Before that I am going to show the status. Here I am going to delete the FTP access. For that sudo UFW delete and the status of the FTP access is deny. So it's deny FTP. Now the rule has been get deleted. You can able to see in this status. There is many number of rules that are present in my UFW. Delete a specific numbered for that you need to give numberings to these rules. For that sudo UFW status numbered. You can able to see all the rules were get numbered. Now I am going to delete a specific rule number one. For that sudo UFW delete rule number one now it has delete the rule number one that is allowing ssh 22 port number it is asking for yes or no confirmation give yes now the rule has been get deleted before there is total of 15 rules now there is only 14 rules here now i am going to reset the rules of ufw to the default for that command is sudo ufw Reset. If you give this command means what all the rules you have added newly will be get resetted to a default one. If you want to proceed, press enter and press Y to see the operation. Now all the rules has been get resetted. Thank you for watching. For more information visit www.linuxhelp.com.